Hello everyone. Uh, today we're gonna test it out this chip device called SF2000. Yeah, it's very cheap. It cost me with shipment 13 pounds. It's gonna be like 16 dollars, something like that. Now, uh, one thing which is really, really good on that price is that screen. The screen is absolutely brilliant. So cheap device. And they're giving us really good screen. Of course, it's low, low end device, and we will test in just NES, NES, uh, some Sega, nothing more demanding. But that's how this been made it for. Okay, well, we've got. That's what I like when it's on off like that. Why? For some people say this is like prehistoric things. But to be fair, if is anything happened, bang. Job done, yeah? Okay, let's test it out, that device. I will do just one uh, one video mixed of uh, different emulators. Uh, yeah, that's it. Enjoy. Menu is very simple. Okay, let's start from maybe mega drive okay we've got some quick menu here but when you're gonna about by start we've got all games here very simple very easy but also very quick and of course as a cheap device is very quick, very loud. You go out, press the two buttons, and you've got load and save state. Very quick, very easy. Yep. Oh my god, come on. Let's try again. Ah! <laughs> okay, next game. Ah, it's working okay as you see. Thank you. 
Oopsie. Hmm. I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> it's very strange, the jump is here. Oops. <laughs> oh, this game is remind me Amiga. Oh my God! So, yes, definitely. This game is remind me Amiga game. The D-pad is very good, look at this. No problems to do Hadoken.
Oh my god, so loud! That's the first game which is choppy. Yeah, the system is struggling. That's the first one.
I heard before that this uh, that device have a problem with Super Famicom, and I think this is the improvement of that one. Sega Mega Drive, Mame, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. It's okay, but oh my god, <laughs> no. Definitely no. We'll try another game from Super Famicom. Yeah, same, choppy, choppy. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys, that's definitely not for Super Famicom. No way. Uh, okay, one more, maybe Donkey Kong Country. We will see how it's working that one. No, at least this one working. Okay, Famicom should be okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that okay? Okay, we'll see the Game Boy. Okay, let's try some Game Boy Color or so. Okay, the last one, Game Boy Advance.
Sound is messed up. Let's try a different one. Same story, problem with the sound. Yeah. Okay, that's the last one. Okay, uh, just few words about that, about that handheld, cheap handheld, we need to remember I just in the dollars it's about 15 16 dollars if you got promotion on aliexpress yeah i would like to say this is some additional handhelds to something which one you've got is maybe good to go for holiday if you don't want to destroy your mind handheld yeah like which one costs 100 150 or 200 uh, dollars you can take it to your pocket and you don't mind because it costs you nothing yeah like one bottle of whiskey or whatever cheap bottle of whiskey yeah if you want to play Game Boy Advance, sounds is pretty bad. If you want to play MAME, most of MAME working very good, fine, you can enjoy that games, yeah? Uh, Famicom, of course, no problem at all. Super Famicom is a mix of performance, is some of them working, some of them are pretty choppy and is completely not possible to play. Mega Drive, as you see, is okay. It's fine. I don't have any problems with that. Uh, Game Boy also, of course, Game Boy Color also, yeah? This means, if you want to play Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Sega Mega Drive, and Famicom, the last one, MAME, yes. But if you want Super Famicom, I would say no, completely no. And Game Boy Advance also. To be fair, the D-pad is pretty good. Even I'm feeling this is better than my Pauki the X55 or RGB uh, 10 Pro, 3 Max, whatever call. It is really better for me. I'm feeling better, yeah? Joystick is the same everywhere, I don't mind. The buttons are really comfortable for me. The size is pretty nice, it's comfortable. You know, menu and everything is very quick and simple that's what i'm saying for traveling for holiday if you don't want to mess up your mind device yeah buy it yeah buy it definitely buy it i will i will do this yeah um that's the words from me the one thing which is really good is that screen screen is absolutely brilliant for that price uh, x6 uh, handheld x6 is not really good uh, that uh, like th that one. I prefer that one than X6 to be fair. Even it's smaller, but I prefer that one. It's more comfortable and feeling better quality. 
Okay, that's it for me. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in next video.